Hi there, today I wanted to talk to you about skin in the 30s and what the sort of age appropriate things are to be doing. So when you reach your 30s, you're just starting, like I am, uh, you're, you're just starting to see some effects of volume change, changes in the skin as well because of sun damage in childhood um, and just general sort of the starting signs of aging. So. Just wanted to talk to you about some of the, the approaches that I have for, for people in their 30s for skin and obviously what you don't want to do is start doing too much that you, you start to look a bit weird and um, like you've been doing things. So things like Botox are good to kind of start thinking about maybe mid 30s when you're just starting to see some little lines and wrinkles, starting to see the downward pull of the, the muscles at the side of the eyes and the centre of the forehead, the frown lines. And uh, then thinking about just the, the, the kind of start of volume loss. So doing things like dermal fillers, so things like very small volumes of dermal fillers in in the just the, the prominences of the, the, the bony prominences of the face, uh, for example, on the cheekbone, on the jawline and the chin, and then also the temples a little bit with a very, very small volume. Say it's even just one one or two syringes for the, the whole face is often enough just to replace what's been lost, not to kind of create structures which wouldn't naturally have been there. Same with Botox, just using minimal doses. Um, often you, in the 30s, you're starting to see some of the effects of childhood sun exposure. Um, so thinking about the top layer of the skin as well is important. So. There's, as many of you know, I do lots of skin treatments as well. So things for um, stimulating collagen deposition, things to improve on the, the sort of the tone of the skin as well. So things to think about are probably things like derma roller. So uh, derma roller is a treatment that is very simple to do. Um, it uh, involves creation of tiny injuries on the skin surface, which then heal and uh, then you get release of growth factors in the skin which then stimulate the, the cells in the skin to produce new collagen and new elastin which can just boost the surface of the skin and the, the top layers of the dermis. And it's very gentle treatment, very little in the way of downtime but it's a nice thing to do if you're just starting to think about um, the, the first signs of, of laxity and ageing. Other things that I've, I've also talked about that you could consider in the 30s are things like Profilo. So Profilo, I don't know if you can see the packet there. Um, Profilo is an injection of very high concentration hyaluronic acid that is not stuck together in molecules the way the filler is. So it basically spreads under the skin. So you inject it in different points on the skin, spreads underneath the skin, and then it causes the, a similar sort of reaction to the, the derma roller. And that in turn stimulates new collagen, new elastin and thickens the, the dermis and it also gives a really nice hydration to the skin as well. So nice to just kind of plump things up, prepare your skin as it ages, uh, but not in any way risk having a sort of weird, uh, weird looking effect. Other things that I often do for the skin uh, in the 30s, particularly in people that have had quite a bit of sun damage and I used to I used to work in Scotland where it was just like sunbed central so um, I saw a lot of people in their 30s who had had quite a bit of sun damage um, and were starting to see a lot of brown marks on the skin um, so things like peels can help with that but also the the major one that I really love is IPL um, and I do an IPL called Lumeca which is a, um, it's a broad spectrum of light, uh, works on brown things and red things and it just basically fragments the pigment and causes um, the tiny blood vessels that are starting to appear because of sun damage to, to just uh, seal off. So for things like the first the start of thread veins around about the nose, pigmentation spots in the forehead and cheeks and things, it's quite a nice thing to do for that. So something maybe to consider as well and it's a great winter time treatment so this time of year is a good time to, th to think about IPL because the skin is, is less exposed to the sun. So, um, yep, so those are the sort of things that I would think about. Tiny bits of Botox, very micro dosing of fillers um, and then things for the skin surface as well. So if there's anything that you have any questions about um, or um, want to know any more about, I'm happy to do more videos on each of the individual treatments. And um, yeah, if there's anything specific that you want to ask, please ask in the comments below. 
follow me on Instagram, which is Dr. David Jack at Clinic. Dr. David Jack Clinic, um, my skincare brand is Dr. David Jack. And you can visit our website as well, which is uh, drdavidjackclinic.com. Okay.